to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am filming my full fall house tour for you. I'm so happy to finally be done decorating for fall time. It is one of my favorite times of the year because it is so cozy. I love all of the warm colors. And today feels like the first fall day here in Colorado. It is 49 degrees outside, so I have my chunky sweater on. I have my hat from Amazon, which I will have linked down below for you if you are interested. It is one of my favorites. I will also have as many items as I can linked down below that you will be seeing in today's house tour. If you do see something that is not linked down below, just let me know in the comments and I will try to link it for you if I can. Also, if you do not follow me over on Instagram, please make sure to do so. I am doing monthly giveaways for the rest of the year and the link is always in the description box down below. All of the rules on how to enter the monthly giveaways are saved to my story highlights. I hope that you guys have enjoyed all of my fall content. I have had so much fun decorating my house and it is fun because every single year I change up my decor because I do like to try out new styles and trends around my house. I also wanted to say thank you so much for showing me all of the love and support over on my Instagram and here on my YouTube. It does not go unnoticed and I appreciate it so, so much. But enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and get on to this house tour. So starting this home tour out, we are going to start at my front door. So I just put my lamb's ear wreath right here on my door. I used a command hook to hang that so that I didn't have to have another wreath hanger hanging on the door. Over here, I have shown this in a few of my previous videos. The two items on the left are from the dollar spot section at Target. And then these are from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love them and I just put some cotton in there. Panning down, I have my little table that I got from Home Goods, along with this basket that I also got from Home Goods. So I have this welcome sign right here on the top. That is from the dollar spot section from Target. And then coming down here, I have this little bucket that says happy fall y'all and that is from Hobby Lobby. Panning from that area, we are coming into my living room, which is one of my favorite areas of my house. Like I said, I do have a ton of different decorate with me's on my channel, so if you do want to see how I decorated any part of my house, I will have that link down below as well. So we are going to start with my coffee table. I get quite a bit of questions about this, and it is actually from a Facebook Marketplace. A girl actually refinished it. She painted it this gorgeous creamy white color and then I actually changed the hardware on it to black. It originally was a silver color but I thought black looked so much better. So for the top of my coffee table I have this table runner that I got from the Target Bullseye Playground area. It was only $3. And then I took this lamb's ear garland from Hobby Lobby that I got on sale for $10. These pumpkins right here on the top are also from Hobby Lobby. They were very affordable and I love the way that they look. For the centerpiece of my coffee table, I have this beaded garland from Ashley Homestead on Instagram. I will have it linked down below. I absolutely love the look of the beaded garland on the pretty amber glass vase. The vase is from Target and it was only $20. It is absolutely huge and I love the way that it looks in the middle of my coffee table. I did get some picks from Hobby Lobby as well. Just to add a little bit of color, I did get this really pretty orange one which I think adds a nice pop of color. And then moving down to the candle, I have my DW Home candle in the scent Cinnamon, Apple, and Oats. This is one of my favorite candles of all time. It smells so yummy and I love the tops of the candles that, that it comes with. So I have been burning this thing for the past few weeks and my house smells so good. I do also have two baskets that I keep on the side of my coffee table that has all of my doggies treats in it, <laughs> which she is looking at me to try to give her one, but 
That is what I keep on the two sides of my coffee table. And then moving on to my couch, I do get a lot of questions about that as well. It is from American Furniture Warehouse and I will have that link down below for you as well. Starting on this side, I have a throw blanket from Target. It is so soft and comfy and I really love the way it looks having a throw blanket on the side of the couch. For the pillows on my couch, all three of these right here are from Amazon. They are actually pillow covers because I do not want to spend any more money or waste any more space getting new pillows. So I will have those linked down below. These two are very, very soft. This one is comfortable as well, but it is not as a soft material as these two are. And then moving down, I have this pillow from the dollar spot section that I got a couple years ago. And then this is also a pillow cover. You can't see it that much because the puppy is laying there. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. So again, very affordable and it is from Amazon. So if you have been looking for some pillowcases, definitely check these out. They are really great quality. And then moving up to my wall above my couch, the only thing I changed here was I changed out the sign in the middle of the wreath to this blessed pumpkin. I got this from Walmart a couple years ago and they actually still have it because I just went a couple days ago. It's a really affordable, I believe it's around six or seven dollars. So here is a final look at my living room. I absolutely love this space so, so much. We have some sleepy puppies going on as you can see on the couch. I love that I incorporated more oranges and yellows this year and I love the amber glass vase on the coffee table. So now we are going to turn around to this area of my living room. I am going to be changing these floating shelves because I have never enjoyed them. They just have not looked right to me. So I'm actually going to be going over to one of my friend's house and we're gonna DIY some wooden floating shelves that match the little entertainment system a little bit better. So hopefully DIYing some wooden shelves will tie in better with the TV stand and just give it more of that rustic farmhouse look. Now if you do like these floating shelves, they are from Target and they were pretty affordable. So we're going to start over here on the left hand side where my blanket ladder is. So this blanket ladder is from Hobby Lobby. I just put a cute little gnome on it with this home pillow from the dollar spot section. And then you pan down here and I have my Farm Fresh Pumpkins pillow from the Target dollar spot. And then I have this really pretty arrangement from Target as well. I have a bunch of blankets stuffed in here. This little basket is from Magnolia Home and I got it from Marshalls. I really like the way that this little corner came out. I love the little gnome as well. My TV stand is from Home Goods. I got it before I moved into the house, so over three years ago. If I can find something similar, I will link it for you. I got this garland from Michaels a couple years ago. Again, if I can find something similar, I will have it linked. And then right here in the middle, I have this sunflower vase from Michaels. I didn't know if I should put anything in it. I think it is like a utensil crock that you're supposed to put in your kitchen, but I went ahead and put it there because I felt like this area was empty. And then moving down to the bottom of my TV stand, I have this arrangement that I got from Home Goods a couple years ago, along with these birds that I picked up from the Target Bullseye Playground area. So moving over to this side where I have more floating shelves from Target, right down here I have this Home Sweet Home sign from Michaels that is still available. I just saw it when I went to Michaels a couple weeks ago, so I will have that link down below. And then I just have some miscellaneous items right here on the shelves. A lot of this stuff is from the Target dollar spot section. Nothing too special on these shelves. I honestly cannot wait to get rid of them. So I am not totally in love with them like you guys know if you've watched my previous videos. And then I do have my home sweet home sign on top of my TV. So here is an overview of this side of my house. And now we are panning into my kitchen area. So right here on the kitchen island, I have my three-tiered stand that I got from Amazon. 
which will be linked down below. I have gotten so many questions on this tiered stand. I have this cute little mummy with some candy in it for Halloween. And then I also have this candle from Target Burning. It is actually almost done burning. I love the way that it smells and I wanna say it was under $10 for this giant candle. It is a 20 ounce candle. So I thought that was a really good deal. A lot of this stuff on my tiered tray is from Hobby Lobby. So I will try to link as much as I can. This tiered stand has been one of my favorites because my kitchen island is so big, but I didn't wanna have too much stuff on it. So I feel like this adds some height to it and is exactly what my kitchen island needed. I have also thought about getting some new bar stools. So if you guys do think I should get some bar stools with backs on them, let me know. I'm kind of sick of these saddle bar stools to be honest. So. We shall see if you have any recommendations, send me them over on Instagram. So moving over to the side of my fridge area, I didn't really decorate too much. I just put this cute picture with some fall floral on the inside. Right here, it was $2.98. And I also have my Bath & Body Works wallflower plug-in. This was from a couple years ago, but I absolutely love it. And then moving over to my oven area, I do have some fall towels that I got from the dollar spot section in Target. And then right above my oven, I just have this sign that is also from the dollar spot section and some pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. Moving over to one of my favorite areas in my kitchen, this is the infamous Hobby Lobby shelf and I will have this link down below for you. I have some Ray Dunn items and I also have my two-tiered stand from Hive and Home. I do have a 25% off discount code for you. If you are looking for a new tiered stand, definitely check them out. I absolutely love them. Panning over to my kitchen sink, I do have some Mrs. Meyers products. I have the apple cider scent and the mum scent. I picked up this soap from Target because it looked really pretty. This is sea salt and coconut. I absolutely love it. And this tray that is holding everything is from Marshalls. On each side of my window seal, I have these cute little floral arrangements with amber glass from Target. I absolutely love them so, so much. And then over here on this side, I have some really pretty fresh sunflowers that I got. And then I do have this cute little jar that says give thanks with some floral picks in there. And then I also have this Hello Pumpkin mug that I picked up from Kirkland's along with my white Keurig that I absolutely love. For my pantry, I put this really pretty wreath that I picked up from Joann's a couple years ago, and I just placed this pantry sign right in the middle. I love the way that this turned out. Right next to my pantry, I have my hanging shelf from Hobby Lobby, where I have my Ray Dunn mugs, and then I put my canisters from Ray Dunn on the top here with some fall floral on the sides. This sign is from the Target Dollar Spot section. Coming down, I just have a vase with some lamb's ear and fall picks with some little pumpkins as well. Then on the right hand side, I have this book stack that I got from the Target Bullseye Playground area and some amber glass vases with some floral in it. I really love the way that this area came out and it definitely screams fall. For my cabinet, I did get this from Home Goods, so unfortunately I cannot link this for you guys, but if I do find something similar, I will. Moving over to my kitchen table, I kept it pretty simple this year. My kitchen table is from Macy's and I absolutely love it. I will have it linked down below for you. So in the middle here, I have a dough bowl that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, and I just put some pumpkins and pine cones and some greenery. And then I used one of my lanterns from Kirkland's. I also put my Ray Dunn salt and pepper shakers right there in the middle. And then panning over to the last area, this is where I decorated for Halloween. I will have a full decorate with me, link down below so you can see how I decorated this. It was so much fun. I won't go too much into detail, but I have all of my Halloween Ray Dunn stuff. 
in my hutch and it just looks so spooky. I love Halloween time, but I definitely don't decorate my whole house for so it. That is going to complete my fall home tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous. Mm -hmm.